morning fifth grade. Make sure that you have gone back and listened to Rachel's journey story again. And then today you're going to do this grammar sheet. You don't have to do one through five. You only need to worry about seven through 12. What you need to do is you need to write, rewrite the titles with the proper capitalization. And I'll read the titles to you guys. Number seven says, My Life in the Wilderness. Number eight, The Life and Times of a Mountain Man. Number nine, A Mountain High and River Wide. Number 10, Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness. Number 11, The Elephant Who Tried to Swim in the Ocean. And number 12, If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Again, just rewrite those titles with the proper capitalization. And then flip to the back side. Comparing adjectives. Let me turn off my light, see if that helps with the glare. That's better. You can compare the way that actions are done. To compare two actions, form a comparative adverb by using the word more before an adverb ending in ly. To compare three or more actions, form a superlative adverb by using the word most. Karina's calf ran more gracefully than she had run yesterday. Or Maddie's horse ran the most gracefully of all the horses on the field. Okay, all you have to do, um, one through four, is you're going to find the adverb in each sentence. Then you're going to write C on the line if it's a comparative adverb, or S on the line if it's a superlative adverb. Now remember, not always, but more than likely, an adverb is going to end in an L-Y. Remember us talking about that clue? So number one, the sentence says, people traveled more carefully along the trails than they did on the flat prairies. You're going to circle the adverb. Write C if you're comparing, if it's a comparative adverb or S if it's a superlative adverb. Number two, pioneers looked for water most eagerly when they were near a desert. Number three, Pioneers traveled most carefully when they were crossing a river. Number four. Thunder seemed to crash more powerfully out on the open plain. Number five, you are going to write the correct form of the adverb in the parentheses. So they give you um, the adverb, they tell you what kind, so then you're gonna have to write it in the, per, in the blank. Okay, so superlative happily, children played blank when they felt safe. So you're gonna have to decide if you're gonna write more happily or most happily. Number six, comparative, restfully. The adults kept, the adults slept blank in a cabin. Number seven, superlative, forcefully. The rivers ran blank after a strong rain. Number eight, comparative slowly. The older cattle moved blank than the young calves. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right, that is all for reading for NTA NTI day number 13.